So Sean, in relation to figure one here below, uh, do you see any anticipated difficulties or any problems with this the student might face? Uh, yeah, so this is kind of using the travel method to find the solution. Um, big thing that I would have is actually trying to keep the trammel on the correct path yeah. and getting out the drafted solution. Um, it looks quite difficult just from looking at it from uh, the start. Um, how would you get them to follow the trammel? Or what would you get them to do to help them? Uh, probably the best thing for the students to do would maybe label all okay, the points yeah. and the circles yeah. or maybe put them in different colours just so it would be easy to visualise it for them, give them yeah, a little bit extra sense. help. Um, now in relation to figure two, um, what do you see that students might find difficult with this one? Um, Showing from this as the solution is there, it is a, it's an irregular locus, yeah. so it's not a mirrored locus like the ones that were in previous. And uh, there's added cranks, so you obviously have more fixed and moving points. Yeah, there's a lot more going on that they'd have to yeah, visualize. So, so there's a lot more to think about. It'd be more of an advanced question that you could ask them maybe towards the end of the end of the topic, like you yeah. wouldn't really introduce yeah, something. Exactly. Like yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks.